the sun. All living things need its warmth. The heat and light it emanates gives life throughout the planet. But what is given can also be taken away. Okay then, uh, hello everybody, hello, 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 we are here today with Daniel Gomez from First Person Experience. How are you, Daniel? I'm doing great, thank you for having me. That's not a problem at all. I, of course, am Stuart Edwards and be below me but there is, is Robert. Say hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob's, Rob's managed to managed to uh, be able to sequester himself away uh, in a hotel room uh, somewhere in Wales. It's actually really up high in North Wales, I mean, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So I look outside, and it's like mountains. Mountains, mountains, oh. mountains, mountains. But that's not what we're here for today. We're here to basically talk to Daniel. So, Daniel, uh, how are things? Things are going very well. You know, our show opens, uh, our first show opens in 11 May. Okay. So that's less than a month away, and we are a little, in, you know, we're excited. Things are coming together really nicely. We're yeah. trying to get the word out, and we'd love to talk about our experience. Fantastic. And, of course, that's what we are here to do today. Um, yeah. Now, just uh, just let's kind of preface a few things, right, first of all. Yeah. Um, this is, this is uh, you know, you, you, you sent us the the press blurb. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I had a good read of that. I had a good look at the website as well, yeah. which we'll be putting in the show notes for today as well. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. underneath this video, wherever it goes, yeah, um, the links will be there to actually get to the website so you can actually have a look for yourself. Yeah. It's a very nice website. Uh, it it kind of gives enough detail, but also mm -hmm. kind of not too much detail, which I kind of like. It's, it's, it's like, you kind of know what you're getting into, but you don't really know what you're going to get. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Before Stu goes on too much, Danny, uh, Danny, I just want to ask you one quick question about the website. Yes. You mentioned your press brief, who built it. Can you, do you mind just tell me the name of the person who, who, who actually did it? To, who did what? I'm sorry? Who built, who built your website? Sorry, I, mean, I, have, I have a bit of oh, echo here. Uh, I actually had somebody, a uh, very nice gentleman on Fiverr uh, from Moldova. Uh, oh, uh, right. I, his name's Demetrius. Great guy. Brilliant. That's I, superb. I tell you what. So I'll get that. I fetch you for Fiverr. That's fantastic. Yeah, 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 but yeah, but you know, uh, anybody that uses Fiverr knows that usually it's not a Fiverr. Um, <laughs> oh no! If, if 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 you want something decent, it's usually not a Fiverr. We uh, we've definitely used Fiverr in the, in the past, you know, um, and we've had some fantastic results, amazing results yeah. uh, from from the people on there that that be really helpful, and really good. So that's fantastic that you kind of outsource that to that type of thing. I love it. It's brilliant. Um, that's it. So let, let's let's have a little chat then. Tell us uh, as much as you can without giving too much away. What okay, is yeah. this experience called Red? Okay, so the first thing is that it's actually called Ready. <gasps> right. It's a pun, oh, right? right? It's, a, it's a little pun, but that's what it's called. Um, okay. We And the, the, the whole idea is, are you ready to survive? Are you ready to enter the apocalypse? Right and see what you're made of. Uh, no, no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, um, what our company, First Person Experience, we're brand new, just started um, Started this past January. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And this is our premier experience, ready. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put our guest into a 75-minute psychological thriller where okay. it's live action entertainment. You mm -hmm. show up, you get immersed in the story, there's sound, there's lights, there's special effects. You enter an environment that's completely themed. You interact with it. You talk to the actors. You yeah. interact with the actors. Um, you interact with each other, the, uh, the yeah. other guests. Okay. And you work together to complete objectives yeah. uh, and as part of the story. And then here's the greatest thing. Afterwards, oh, actually during the event, we reward you on what you uniquely do. Okay. If, okay. If you go in and you want to go open the treasure chest, for example, there's no treasure chest, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right. And Rob goes in and he wants to save the princess. Yeah, right. Yeah. Those yeah. are two different things. Um, if you, you will both be rewarded for what you do uniquely. 
Oh, uh, okay. And after, so afterwards, you log into the Chronicle. You take your happy little phone. Yeah. Log it up, and it's going to say, you know, the Chronicle, your your little name here, uh, and then say when you played and the achievements you got. If okay. you know, I don't know which one to use is the the king of the castle here. <laughs> whoever gets that, let's say you do, you, uh, you accomplish things that your um, your partner there did not. Yeah. You will get unique content sent to you. And you'll get to okay. check that content out. And then um, Rob will get some content, but he won't get the awesome stuff that right. only you deserve, right? Ah, so, that's cool. So we're going to reward you after the show. And we're also going to reward you during the show. When you make decisions in the show, we will change the story based off of that. Yeah. And, and yeah. It's, unlike, you know, LARPs can be a little uh, hard to manage. It's it's not like that. It's It's managed – but we will adjust based on your decisions. Right now, besides LARPs, there's no other entertainment industry that does that. You watch a movie, mm. you sit there, and you have to suck down Transformers 4 in all of its glory, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, you, yeah. There's oh, nothing yeah. you can do about it. You are you yeah. are stuck on that roller coaster. It's yeah. simple as that. You can only go off. where the roller coaster takes you. Decide what's going to happen. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. That's okay. Very cool. Right. Um, so, w- with that in mind, then uh, there's probably. I mean, uh, let me just tr- uh, throw it out there as well. Um, if you're watching on any of the live streams, uh, put a comment, post questions, etc., in the chat. Yeah, we'll yeah. be able to pick them up here. Um, I'm not monitoring Facebook, unfortunately, because I can't while doing this. I don't know, Rob, if you can do that uh, for I'll me. I'll fire that up right away for you. Fantastic. Um, and then, you know, we can we can put those uh, those questions to Daniel um, and uh, see what he comes up with. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. The, um, yeah. I mean, I've, Daniel questions. I've, I've got a couple of questions anyway. Um, first of all, the experience sounds fantastic. Am I ready for the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Who said anything about zombies? That's true. This is true. Uh, you, you, you did just say wait. apocalypse, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Apocalypse. I, but who said anything about zombies? I just and, had that. Saying, Ah. <laughs> oh. now, I'm not saying it's not zombies, yeah. but I'm definitely not saying that it's not. it's not zombies. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it could yeah. be, but it is the apocalypse. Yeah. The world is ending. Let's get it on. See, I, I, unfortunately, these days, every time I hear apocalypse, just zombie goes at the, at the front of it in my mind. It's just how my brain works, you know. Um, I, of course, apply uh, the... the uh, uh, the rules for that type of thing anyway you know cardio i'm right out there right i'm i'm yeah. lost from the very beginning the double tap i can definitely do that you know <laughs> that sort of thing yeah. right that's that's fine but um <laughs> right so here here are my questions to begin with right um the the, the first one that kind of uh, uh, sprung to my mind is this seems like a a fantastic way even if you've just slightly thought in the past i wonder what this larp thing is all about this is a really nice non-committal way to try it out uh because it's, it's as you say it's 75 minutes so you're not going away for an entire weekend camping or in a hotel or whatever the larp does yeah so it's 75 minutes yeah uh, you pay your one-time fee as it were for that particular game you go play it you see if you like it maybe it'll trigger something in you that goes maybe i should really find out about this larp thing you know so exactly. it's a great yeah. way to kind of start uh, is is that kind of am i am i on on the right track there to to kind of absolutely our um this experience and my company is we're specializing in live action entertainment okay. right that's two of the wor- two of the words in larp right live action yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So we do have a lot of uh, characteristics that m- mirror LARPs, right? Yeah. You're in the moment. You're dealing with uh, the characters in the story that yeah. are, are, are other people. You're dealing with each other as guests. Okay. You're in yeah. your, your experience and you're in a story and you're doing things, right? You're interacting with that stuff. So those are some of the great similarities. Um, so if it will definitely give you the feeling of a LARP. I've done some LARPs and I, I really enjoyed them. Um, 
with that and it'll it'll give you the ability to get in there with a yeah. low cost of time and things like that um you also don't need to create your own armor for example yeah, yeah. you don't need to study rule books or anything like that there's no rule right. books um we ask that you be yourself okay. come here be yourself boom apocalypse right yeah, yeah. and do what you would do in real life right yeah. experience it in real life let's see if you have what it takes um you know we're taking some of the um it's a little bit more controlled than a larp because i love larps yeah, yeah. but usually it's 20 different people going in 20 different directions because <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Okay. right and then yeah. you may all be in the same world right but it's 20 different people with 20 different objectives and hidden yeah. objective and ulterior motives everything like that here we want you to come in get immersed in the story yeah. and it's game on right uh it's like i said it's a little bit more controlled because we got to get through the whole experience in yeah, 75 yeah. minutes but it will definitely let people experience a larp sedent where they uh. <laughs> I love I, I I love right? the I love the term I love the term yeah yeah we're still that Danny I really hope you have oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you haven't copyrighted no that yeah. <laughs> yeah. let me just I'm just gonna write that down just because yeah because uh, right because you know like I I mean I some of the stories out student. there you know I did Dystopia Rising what oh, yeah. a fantastic story yeah. um you know I went to the College of Historic Experiences that was I was a student but it was a little less yeah. LARP you know but and I loved it. Uh, there, there, there are some costs. However, time, yeah. okay. you know, um, usually money is not the most significant cost. Usually, no, it's right. time, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and and all that other stuff, right? Um, which prevents people from even getting out there. They don't want to get hit with swords sometimes. Yeah. You know, they're not too sure about painting themselves or something or putting on armor and stuff like that. So we're gonna make it super like a low barrier to entry. Yeah. So. Uh, like that yeah i mean I, i i agree i mean i mean rob and i have many discussions um usually throughout the week when when, when i'm bored um about the whole sort of uh, stigma uh, that it's it's quietly falling away right yeah. the whole the whole stigma we're, we're chipping away it's... yeah the the the, the, the whole, okay. yeah every, every day just chipping away that a little bit more uh, the whole stigma of of people who larp you know that are a little bit weird um Well, I mean, let, let's be honest. Uh, a lot of companies these days uh, actually employ companies like yourself uh, mm -hmm. to run scenario-based things to help. Uh, they use it under the term team building, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. or, or corporate day or what have you, uh, to to kind of get teams to gel together and work together, you know, for a common goal and or what have you. So mm -hmm. this is something that's actually been used from. Well, since companies have been blooming running almost, you know, so certainly within the last sort of uh, 30, 40, 50 years, you know, companies have been doing these team building exercises. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, you take that one one step a little bit further. And, and I mean, you did say, you know, you turn up, it's a 75 minute thing, uh, turn up how you are, be you. Um, so you don't have to think of a character. And all that exactly. malarkey, yeah? yeah. You don't have to do all of that 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 background prep that you might no have man. to do. No, so I know, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know um, and and be yourself. Now, of course, if 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 I went along uh, and the apocalypse happened, um, my default thing will be in a corner in the fetal position. But you know, um, <laughs> which might get a little bit boring after seventy five minutes. But I'm sure, you know, I know I would get in there. I would get stuck in. It'd be like, right then, let's organize a few things uh, because we need to make sure, you know, my brain would be, right, we need we need water. We need food. We need, <laughs> you know, oh, shelter. like I, I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure we did. <laughs> you know, the, the, these, these sorts of things. So, um, yeah. <laughs> the, right, so y your website does address quite a few things in in your faq right yeah. it's 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 got a nice nice little faq there for people uh, when they go on you uh, on the site um but okay certain people will have certain reservations yeah you know is yeah uh, I, yeah not for everybody yeah the, the, and this is the, the just the reason it's not for everybody um there's a big difference between seeing a horror movie for yeah. example you know 
and then having someone and then going to a haunted house. Yeah. Right. Oh, huge in a car movie, yeah. they jump out, they have a knife, whatever. In a haunted house, that chainsaw is right up in your face. So yeah, people yeah, get yeah. a lot different, right? Yeah. So we are we do not have any chainsaws, people, right? We don't have anything like that. But it is dark, for example, in okay. some places, right? The lights may or may not flicker, right? Yeah. Um, you will be alone for a small portion, just okay. a very like very small. But let's say people who have like, whoa, I can never be alone. Then yeah. you know, then you probably yeah, yeah. won't like this as much. But if you could be alone for like five minutes, just hanging out, you will love it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then um, there's some there's some physical restrictions. For example, we had a young a woman call yesterday. She really wanted to come. Yeah. She asked, "What are the physical requirements?" And my yeah. my wife answered. She's like. Oh, can you climb up the stairs, you know, right? Yeah. Can you yeah, walk yeah. around and stand around? And she said, absolutely. And she said, oh, okay. Well, she says, because I'm seven months pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. And then my wife, who's already been pregnant twice, right? She's like, you probably, we recommend that you not come because, you yeah, know, yeah. there's there's lights, there's sounds. It may or may not be intense sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah. still going to be fun. But yeah. it's just not, you know what I mean? Like, we just yeah. don't recommend it. That, have have the yeah. baby first, then come later. Yeah. No, that's what, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. and I hate to do that because people can make their own decisions, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, for example, in any haunted house, there's a little strobe light thingy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, you're, if you suffer seizures from strobe lights and the little ones, I, you know, you probably shouldn't come because that's just something that we, we want to make sure it's safe for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, you know, and and we and we believe in rules. Like LARPs have a lot of rules and, and things like yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. In our thing, we do have rules, and that's just for the safety of everybody. Uh, I'll enough. just give you a little hint here. When you come in, you get a safety brief, and one of the safety brief is don't attack any of our actors. <laughs> right? Fair enough. Yeah. And, and, here, and here's why: because we don't want our actors to get hurt. They're there to make yeah. you happy. Right. Yeah. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to do anything crazy to you. Right. But we also don't want people saying, you know, ah, follow me, you know. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so this is a simple thing for safe. No one's hitting anybody with pipes or anything crazy like that. It's all a safe environment. And yeah. we just want to keep it that way. Yeah. We um, if you read uh, there was an article that came out about immersive experiences, especially specifically immersive theater. Yeah. In New York City where, you know, people are intoxicated. And they go, you know, you're right there with the actor and they get all handsy yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Not allowed, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And those are the type of things we want to make sure everybody has fun. It's safe. They're in the moment, touching things, looking at things, doing things, hearing things. Mm-hmm. And they're making decisions, you know. Okay. Should I go here or go there? Should I trust this person or not trust this person? Like they're they're gonna be in the moment. And you yeah. need to have some level of safety in that, right? Mm-hmm. So that's 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 why um there are just some th- some people who who won't like that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. But it, but it's worth saying that, Danny, because you'd be amazed, even most experienced role players, that, that so that sometimes when they go into the moment, they have a great emotional experience, but they do do things they really shouldn't do sometimes. So it's worth briefing yeah. everybody before you start. Really, Rob, I yeah. hadn't noticed. No, no, it never happens. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're- um, another thing is like, let's say people uh, think it's something it wasn't, and they just want to. They're like, yeah. "Whoa, this is too much for me," or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I gotta do is say, "Take me out." Yeah. And that's it. And there's not like we don't need safe words and all that stuff. That's totally yeah. not necessary. Yeah. If you don't want to be there anymore, we have so many procedures. Everybody's fine. It's just a show that keeps moving. You're inside it. Everything's great. Um, but if you yeah. don't want to play anymore, that's perfectly fine too. We're we're mm-hmm. trying to make it okay. That's yeah, good. no, and you know, and I'm I'm sure that is, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, we 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 have had a a a comment um, uh-huh. from from Twitch uh, from the nice people <laughs> from the nice people at Larpin. Uh, strobe lights are the most dangerous thing in a haunted house. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, st- strobe lights, you know, it could affect people. That's why we just want to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. So, um, so let's 
let's move on a little bit now. Um, is this going now to continually run from this point forwards, or, or is this just a a, a kind of a, a a demo period? What what's going to happen? This is a, a ten week period yeah. okay. that we're doing this uh, specific uh, one. Right. Um, as just just to make sure all everything's in order to see how yeah. it goes to do all testing. We want to be a permanent company that does these all the time. Yeah. There's yeah. two things. One, we want to have a, this experience to continue. Yeah. We okay. want people to come back. The re replayability of this experience is at least 99%. So okay. when you come mm. back, you will experience sort of the same show, but all new things as well. Right. We want to create that replayability for you. It is not an escape room. Yeah. When you figure out the puzzles in an escape room, unless they change the escape room, it is the same exact thing. Yeah. This is 100% not that. Yeah, we guarantee that it will be different the next time you come back. 100% guarantee that. Super. It's more, from that way, it's more like a lap. And like each time a lap is played, even if it's in the same script, each run is different. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We want to help people build up and and get deeper in the story and everything like that. Yeah. It's going to be difficult in the first ten weeks. Yeah. But um. Uh, we're we're just well, this is just you know this is our first first thing. Then yeah. the next goal is to continue this and then also, um, create new ones. The yeah, world yeah. is their oyster in there. Yeah. You know no. Ex exactly. Mean? Fantasy fantasy experiences. Mm -hmm. Um. Whether it's sci-fi or yeah, yeah. Medieval or whatever. We want to do everything. We yeah. really think it, it'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. By, by the way, I've just scratched out one of my questions, which you answered. How does this uh, differ from an escape room? So I don't yeah. need to ask. <laughs> I don't need to answer that. Uh, ask that one. No, um, if, like I say, if if anybody watching now has got any questions, please chime in. Uh, put it in chat, and we can ask uh, Daniel. Uh, the questions and, and see what you have to see. Um, okay, that's. Uh, so let's talk about then. Uh, uh, let's go for for costs first of all. I know you're based yeah. in, in, in in you know and 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 how people can can find you obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you're based yeah. in in New York City. Uh, whereabouts in New York are you? Mm -hmm. We're we are in um, Long Island City, and that's located in Queens. Yeah, the the, yeah. Borough, the New York City borough of Queens. Okay. Um, we are right in between Brooklyn and Manhattan. You know, mm -hmm. right underneath the Pulaski Bridge. Uh, the best thing for people to do to come check us out yeah. is to go to our website, www.firstpersonexperience.com/red. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the best way to find us, find where we're at, find our times, find our show times, and buy tickets. Okay. Stupid. Right. That's cool. Okay. Um, and, and how much the tickets or what do people get? So there's three, uh, tiers. There's a $65 survivor package where you get, um, a survival bag, a ready yeah. survival bag yeah. with a national disaster force card. Um, that's personalized, yeah, which okay. has survival instructions on it. It's just a great, great piece of uh, gear. Um, if you decide you want a little bit more than that, you get the challenger package. Okay. Mm -hmm. The challenger package is um, the same thing. You get the bag, you get the card. You also get a first-person experience flashlight okay. that you can okay. use in the experience. Right. You also, um, I'm sorry, with the first package, you also get a group photo. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Email, email to you. With the second, with the challenger package, you get a group photo. You get um, a ready icon that yeah. you can put onto your profile in the Chronicle. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So when you go to the Chronicle, it has your um, your name, but you could also put an icon in there, and right. you get the the, um, the ready icon in there. Then you also get a customized "I'm in the apocalypse" uh, individual photo, right? right. Yeah, so yeah. it is not a nowhere. I mean, all these other places, they don't let you take a picture with the stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. You usually, can't have cameras. If I'm in a zombie apocalypse i usually don't have a camera to take pictures of me with all of my awesome gear True or enough. i have to hire a five thousand dollar photographer we're going to do something in the middle there where you get to take a picture in the apocalypse okay. of yourself and you could share that on facebook you could share it with your friends yeah, yeah. it's going to be great okay <laughs> next tier up which is the awesome tier is the elite package okay. yeah the elite package has everything i said before and three more things number one 
you get a ready t-shirt right. um, where it's mm -hmm. t-shirt that you can wear home, really great quality. Awesome. Next thing you get a um, national disaster force patch, right? Yeah. It's, it's a patch of yeah. the national disaster force, which you have to get in the game to find out what that is. Okay. But if you wear this patch in the game, in the experience, you get extra stuff happening to you. You get extra <laughs> stuff happening to your team. You yeah. get another level deeper than the other people. Now, okay. well, that's not fair. You know, why are they going to get something special? Because they just paid a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's going to see. But guess what? Those people can see what happened 100% free, right, to the other yeah. people. It's just a great way to maximize your interaction yeah, yeah. in the game. Um, but you have to see it to believe it. It's going to yeah. be awesome. What the, the different things that um, we're coming up with for that. Yeah. Uh, and then that's not all. Okay. Some other stuff happens. Not going to tell you. But <laughs> let's just say yeah. we're going to give you more stuff. You're going <laughs> to do mm -hmm. more stuff. Yeah. You will never forget this, right? In a good yeah. way, not a bad way. Not yeah. like a, you know, uh, I, I, know, I know we're talking about safety and stuff like that. There's some immersive experiments and experiences where you never forget for a bad reason. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. This is an awesome. Remember when that guy did that? Or remember when she. And remember yeah. what happened when the, right? That's what we want to create. We don't want to create the, oh man, you know, this thing happened, right? We want to create memorable experiences that you'll never forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's great. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, and I, and I think if it's if it's possible, I I know uh, Luke was supposed to be on here as well interviewing tonight, but uh, of course, we tried to do this Monday didn't work out so well because uh, again yeah but, but, but can we google, google lies again? yeah google yeah. lies again it, right it was google it lied to me <laughs> yeah you know. he's like no mate you have to add an hour yeah <laughs> <laughs> worry, Daddy, you're not the first that's happened to it's no. uh, done it before the people yeah uh, it did well famously to lap the lap series they came on and yeah, yeah google lied to them as well yeah google lies um but the, you know the the one thing that, that Luke did mention after he kind of uh, uh, went to the website yeah. is is he went, ooh, I wonder what's in the bags. <laughs> and then, and then in usual Luke style, he went, ooh, I wonder if we can get them to send us a few bags. <laughs> you know, so I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure they'll mail them all the way from the States to us just so we can go, yeah. ooh, look at this, look at that. <laughs> you got it. You got it. It's, uh, it's gonna, the bags get here uh, yeah. on the 28th. So, <laughs> um, I'll be before then. <laughs> exactly. Um, the, so, let, 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 let's go back a little bit then to yeah. to the experience and what have you. Right, so, you've got all these different levels. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. That that you can sort of uh, participate, and they basically, you know, range range from like like, oh my god, what's going on? To uh, I've got this, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> type <laughs> type level. Um, so we've talked about the safety aspect of it, yeah, and that yeah. You, you know you want a nice, good, immersive experience for everybody. You do, um, yeah. We've talked about the you know just a little bit of a recap. We've talked about the replayability. Uh, mm -hmm. which I think is is fantastic for oh, this sure, yeah. this this sort of thing because as we say you know escape rooms once you've done an escape room they might have four or five but once you've done the escape room here yeah, you know how to solve the escape room yeah, so you, have to, you, have to, yeah. you know just, you know just a puzzle that's all just a puzzle once you've done the puzzle end off yeah now every time you come along to this each time is it is depending on the choices that the other people make in the party as well as yourself uh yeah. the experience changes every time every time so you know this this is this this is a win win and a tick 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 um in all of the boxes that i like in the things that i do uh yeah, and awesome. what have you so yeah, if yeah. I ever get over to New York, <laughs> Come on trust down. me, trust yeah. me, I will be I will be turning up uh, to your door, going hello, um, <laughs> uh, and on that way, Rob, have you got any any other questions you can think of? Oh dear, oh dear, I can't talk. Come on, teeth. Oh, in. Sorry, audience, but teeth back in. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the only Danny, Danny, I were chatting in the pre-show about this, but the similarities between sort of this and the Arabian adventure that went on around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. I think Danny, they were then saying this is probably be more theatrical than that. Is that right? Uh, yes, just because um, uh, you know it's 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 an enclosed environment. It's yeah. seventy-five minutes. We have to get from A to Z. Yeah. Regardless, yeah, um, and we have ways to do that with, without, you know, it, we have ways of making the story flow where everybody's happy and everything like that. Um, but there's just, you know, uh, I, I didn't get to talk to Klaus and Peter about, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Klaus and Paul about that um, after they did it. But I just know that there's a they, there's a lot more LARP, a lot more storytelling. Yeah, yeah. In, in internal character, I am a I am this character type stuff. Um, it, it, so it's more LARP. Yeah. It's, it's more LARP focused. Yeah. Um, ours is a little less LARP focused because you're, you're yourself. You're still yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But I think you know, that's, but, it, it, but then again, that, that's not, that's quite much. That's going to appeal to people who just want to like a, like have it as part of an evening out or a day out and mm-hmm. just have a great experience. Yeah. We're, we are making it, we cater to everyone who wants to, we want to, we want the hardcore person who wants to, come in here and find out everything yeah, which yeah. will be impossible to do on one go impossible right. um and then we also want the people who want something really fun to do on a weekend yeah. right will will we want to everybody will enjoy this experience or that whole uh, gamut and then he, here's another question that i think you guys will find interesting i yeah. had a, a person who has gone to um, multiple ex- immersive experiences and escape mm-hmm. rooms yeah. Um, and they were worried that, hey, there's 15 people. If I go with three other people, the other people are going to make me lose, yeah. right? Because okay. I because I can't control them. Yeah. Uh, to that, I say this is not an escape room. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter how many people are in your group. If you're a three, or if you're a five person group, if you're all 15, well, all 15 is obviously different, right? But um. Uh, Everyone will get to experience and, and achieve something themselves yeah. with a personal objective. Okay. And there will also be a team objective. But nobody is tanking it for your entire team. That's right. not yeah. how this works, right? There, is, there are no frowny faces. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, right? I didn't pass the escape room, you know, like type stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. No, not here. We don't do that. Right, That's stupid. you are gonna get an ending. Yeah. There are many different endings. I will not tell you how many they are right now, <laughs> um, but there there are many different ones, and that's good. It's a good thing, and that we want to. And you know, I know someone's gonna do a Wikipedia about this. Great, somebody keep track because it's gonna be amazing. Right, excellent. That's great. Glad to hear it. Um, so if there are no questions then at the moment from the chat rooms and what have you, um, so just briefly again, tell people how they can actually find you, uh, and get in touch with you. Sure. www.firstpersonexperience.com yes. that's, uh, slash R E D. Right. Okay. And you go there, there's the website. You click that buy tickets button. We have, um, special offer for the first 100 okay um you put promo code let me let me tell you promo code folks let's just put here uh put f p x capitals f p x yeah and you'll upgrade you to the next package nice that, for, that, nice for free for free um, yeah, so we'll, we'll hook you up that way uh, you know yeah. we want to get your viewers and your uh your fans out there yeah. come down and see us we're going to blow your mind. Yeah. And and this is a little bit of a shout out as well that anybody that actually does go along to the experience, oh, please yeah. get in touch with us, lapbookshow at gmail.com. Uh, tell us what it was like, you know, tell us the experience. How, how did it all go? You know, was yeah. it was it fun? Did it uh, did it meet all your expectations, etc.? Yeah, let us know. Do it, do it, you know, a tiny little review more. Hey, a video review paragraphs of a review up to you right you know and, <laughs> and, you. yeah we won't restrict sure you, you put, 
Make sure you put the spoiler alert if you're gonna put spoilers. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree with that, Danny. Yeah, please, yeah, yeah everybody, if, if you do want to do something, please do it. No spoilers. Yeah, put it, put it like yeah. spoiler alert. What the spoiler is? Spoiler <laughs> alert uh, at, uh, after it, right? Because we may, you know, depending on it, if we think we might have another chat with Danny, and go. Should we take that out? Is that really yeah. pivotal? Yeah, because Danny, we, we don't spoil this to one, but we uh, we'd love we, to get we feedback. We planned it. About. <laughs> Well, we're, we plan for this. If you come in and you write down your entire experience, yeah, you, and then the next person reads it and comes in, guaranteed, it will not be the same. Same, right? Or your money back. Yeah, oh, you hear here, folks. That's there awesome. we go. There we go. There's, there's the guarantee. Will not be the same. There's Never. The, there's the guarantee right there. Um, mm-hmm. So that's it. If is there any, anything else, uh, Rob, you want to add? I am good, thank you. Yeah, this is, this is excellent. Right, fantastic. Uh, Daniel, anything else you want to add? Well, I, yeah, I just want to just throw this out there. You know, I'm doing this with my wife. She's yeah. a doctor, Dr. Joanna Gomez. She specializes in mental resiliency training, psychological first aid, and counseling, right? So not only will, you know, you have a lot of fun, you will learn something. Right. You, know, you will learn something about yourself, uh, and you'll have fun, and that's what makes it more memorable. You learn more by having fun. I was instructor at the Special Operations Center in Mm -hmm. Fort Bragg, North Carolina. My wife is instructor at at the university. We are teachers, and we want to teach you while letting you have fun. Okay, so mental note, never actually talk to your wife because she will analyze (laughs) me within seconds and realize that um, I'm a person that nobody should be left around alone with. Uh, No. (laughs) Well, you know, not certainly not an apocalypse because they might just look like food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. So thank you very much, Daniel, for coming along. It's been an absolutely uh, awesome thing. Um, all of the links and what have you and that code will go in the notes below. Um, and what have you. And I think that's kind of it from us. So again, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. Not a problem at all. The sun. All living things need its warmth. The heat and light it emanates gives life throughout the planet. But what is given can also be taken away.